It has been a complete week since I got my wisdom teeth removed. There is still inflammation, especially right on this side here, on the bottom, but it's not visibly swollen. So there's still soreness and sometimes it flares up a little bit, but at least now it's isolated just to the um, extraction areas, not like it's not like spreading to the like half of my face like it did before. And that's it. So there's some things I'm panicking about right now and very feeling very lost about, but I don't know if I can talk about them. Finished with House of Leaves. Almost finished. See? I'm actually finished with the bulk of the story. Now it's just all the fictitious appendix. And that's going to be easy. And then the next books I'm reading... I actually have fiction in my bag again. I mean, this this was fiction, but I, I'm drawn more to nonfiction. But Hag Seed by Margaret Atwood. And it's, it says, William Shakespeare's The Tempest retold, retold as Hagseed, and that's probably going to start reading this tomorrow because I don't feel like it tonight. Ali Smith's Public Library and Other Story. Um, I didn't see this book before, and it's mainly because I don't look, I, I always, I'm always drawn to the nonfiction section, section of the new area, but this sounded pretty interesting because it's a collection about how books change us and stuff so but it's like a fictional collection this just caught my eye but this was the secret language of dogs unlocking unlocking the canine mind for a happier pet it just caught my eye why wouldn't it the art of slow writing reflections on time craft and creativity and this was a book i saw a couple of years ago or like a year and a half ago i uh I just never picked it up. We knew that I'm like, oh, I'm probably gonna take my time with this. So in that case, I don't wanna check it out until it's taken off the new shelf. And then I forgot about it. So there's that one. This is uh, The Muse is In, an odor's manual to your creativity. So it kinda looks like, I don't know. I think it's because I decided that I'm going to do NaNoWriMo again, which is next month. I'm just like, I need something. Maybe it's because there's so many sub, um, sub genres, but I had the hardest time looking for books on writing in the library system, even though I know that all the branches have plenty of books on writing, but I think it's because there's so many subcategories under writing that it could be hard like if you don't know exactly what you're looking for it could be hard this one is writer to writer from think to ink and i thought this sounded good and i i don't know why but the uh, that this is the author that also wrote this book writing magic and for some reason i did not grab this and check it out i was in the, i was in that stack and my hand was on the book and i actually had it in my hand and for some reason didn't go home with me but I guess I guess this is good to start out with this one I just picked up because I thought it was cute and it's how to journal your life I just I don't know I just kind of looks like that on the inside so I keep saying that I'm gonna get to my actual bookshelf but I don't get my to my bookshelf because every time I knock out everything that I've checked out, I always see something else that I want in the new section and then it starts all over again and I never get to the bookshelves. But there's something that kind of happened this morning that I'm not going to talk about, but it kind of made me get into this hasty mood that I need to start getting rid of stuff. If I'm not going to get to the books I own, I need to donate them or something because I don't know. I, I don't want to talk about it. As each day goes on, I'm more and more hopeless isn't the right word, even though I do feel hopeless. Sometimes I feel like, I feel worried, more and more worried. I just feel this need to cut down what I own as much as possible and be as simple as possible. I had been thinking about this for about two days, like you really need to go through your stuff because what if something happens and you don't need all this stuff and 
the thing that happened this morning was kind of one of the things I was fearing. But more it was a foreshadowing. It's like I asked the universe a question, I get an answer like, yes, you need to pack your crap.